take a look at this picture. It's Albert Einstein, right? Okay, pause the video and back up about 10 feet. And what do you see? Ah, it's the actress Marilyn Monroe. Doesn't that seem amazing? In some studies of how skeptics and believers see the world differently, this picture was used along with the measurement of a brain chemical called dopamine. In this study, it was determined that skeptics have less of this chemical, dopamine, in their brains, so they are not as prone to see patterns in the environment as are believers. Now, seeing patterns that are there is a very good thing. <laughs> seeing patterns that aren't there is not a good thing. As a continuation of the study, they had both skeptics and believers look at move, um, television screens, just white snow, it's just random signal when there's nothing coming through uh, a TV transmission. But unbeknownst to the participant, they actually put the faint image of a face in the background. And the believers were actually able to detect the faint image of the face, whereas the skeptics weren't able to do so. They then gave both skeptics and believers a chemical that altered the dopamine level in the brain. And an interesting thing happened. The skeptics were able then to detect the patterns they had been unable to detect before, whereas the believers were much more conservative about any possibility of underlying patterns. To me, this is a very interesting idea, and it says something about the way we code reality and see the world.